Yeah, right. Hello? Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Oh. <laughs> um, so here's an update for the great distribution tool uh, debate. So we've gone through the stages of printing, 3D printing the tool to measure the basket uh, or the, the grinds in the basket. That was too weak. Uh, we've tried the pressure sensitive film that was too insensitive. So I've gone and made the initial tool that I designed for pressing into the coffee. I've got it printed out of stainless steel. So a plasma laser or something has created this part by literally welding um, stainless steel powder. Uh, the walls are one millimeter thick and the blades at the end are about 0.1 millimeters wide. So this guy is slicing through coffee really easily. Um, each of these eight segments is the same uh, cross-sectional area. So as we press it into the coffee, uh, it's gonna be picking up how much uh, coffee is in each of these areas. And so what we're gonna do is, we've got our basket with coffee in it, uh, out of the grinder, we'll use a distribution tool. We'll get this tool and we will very carefully press it uh, we'll, we'll get a jig or something to hold it nice and even and then we'll press it into the basket like that all the way down to the bottom until we can hear the metal um, touch and that's going to give us our cro vertical cross-sectional area now there's actually nine things that we'll be able to measure number one is what's left on the outside ring so we'll know we'll have like a rough number for what's the coffee around uh, how much coffee is around the edges of the tool um, and that volume is consistent as well, so that's gonna be a nice um, data point for us. But unfortunately, it's not going to give us the same uh, uh, power as the eight equal sections that this tool gives us. So we'll turn it over, tap it you know, on something hard to make sure the coffee has fallen into the tool. And then we'll take the basket off and we'll see, I haven't quite tapped it as enough because I haven't got a tool, but you can see that basket's empty, tool is full. Um, and if we tap this down right now, you can imagine it, the basket would be on top uh, and as we tap, the coffee sort of falls into each of those segments. So in this example, some of the coffee fell off, some of the coffee went into each segment, but uh, we have, you know, if the basket's still on top and pressing it down, that coffee isn't going to go anywhere except straight down into the... Um, relevant segment in the tool. And then what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm currently designing a cap that goes on this tool that leaves one outer or one inner segment open. So we'll put that cap on and then shake and tap out all of the coffee from that segment and weigh it. Lift the tool up, put it on the next uh, quadrant, do the same thing and we'll, uh, in series, weigh each of those segments. Put that data into a spreadsheet and then start logging it. So we're not gonna do hundreds of tests straight away. We'll probably do, I don't know, five or 10 of tapping, five, five or 10 of um, manually distributing, five or 10 of doing nothing, and see if there's nice resolution in the data or if we're just looking at noise, and then uh, we'll be able to, you know, get a pretty clear idea of what's actually happening with the distribution tools. So at the moment, the things that are stopping us from doing this, this tool, this took a long time to manufacture, sorry, Australia, um, we're not China. And I'm waiting on Ohouse to send us some analytical scales that are accurate to 0 0.0001 grams, I think, which is mind boggling. Uh, uh, they're sponsoring us for those, so that's great. So we don't need to spend that money, which is why it's taken some time because I need to be gentle. Um, and I can't press them. And then once we have those scales, we will test with the rovers that we have at St. Ali. Um, and then I think we should also probably test with a Mythos because those two are probably, I think, the most popular grinders across specialty coffee cafes at the moment. And yeah, we're still moving. We're not, we haven't paused. We've just been waiting for things to be manufactured, um, which is the reality of this stuff. Um, so again, thank you for your support. We're getting there. And I can't wait to get some data. See you next time.